A day at the high street. My name is Angie. I am married to Dan. We have three children, two girls and a boy, aged five, seven and nine. Today is Monday and we have just bought a house in Putney. So, we decided to take it off work and go down the high street to pay some bills, do some shopping and to discover our new neighborhood on the way. Early in the morning, Dan and I took the children to the local school, which is not too far, just around the corner. Then, went to the petrol station, cause the car petrol tank was almost empty. After that, we dropped some clothes at the dry cleaner, to be cleaned, they had some tough stains. Then, we drove to the garage, to get a MOT which means, Ministry of Transport Certificate, then wanted to renew the car tax disc. After that, we went to the bank to get some cash from the ATM which means, automatic transaction machine and instructed one of the customer services staff in the bank to pay the monthly standing order for our mortgage and sign the necessary papers because we have just moved house from Greenwich to Putney near Richmond. After that, we went to the local cafe for some breakfast. I ordered a toasted bread with butter and jam and coffee while then ordered a full English breakfast, fried eggs, fried sausages, fried bacon, fried tomatoes, fried mushroom, fried everything, haha, -ha, and two slices of toast and a mug of tea. Afterwards, we went to Boots the Chemist to get my prescription and some multivitamins. Dan wanted to buy newspapers and a magazine from W.H. Smith Bookshop. Next to the fire engine station is our local police station. We saw two bobbies walking the beat on their morning shift round the area and on the high street. We smiled and waved at them and said good morning, lovely day, isn't it? They smiled back and replied, yes indeed. There was a traffic warden, busy, dishing out parking tickets. She looked at us and said, the law is the law and it must be respected. We nodded our heads and went on our way. I went into a stationery shop to buy a birthday card for my dad in crayons, pencils, pens, notebooks, erasers, rulers, stapler, correctors, highlighting markers, sticky paper notes, writing pads, markers, water painting sets, easel, and papers for the children. We sat on a bench in the local park. What a lovely day. The weather was fresh with a light breeze and the sky was clear. I watched some kids playing with their remote control toy boats in the lake and Den was busy with his mobile as usual. It was peaceful and relaxing. After half an hour, Den and I got up and went to the garage to fetch the car. Den paid for the MOT certificate and drove us to the car parking lot. We walked a short distance to the post office to sort out the car registration, insurance and tax disc. Then, went to a local convenience shop which is a news agent and an off license to buy the national lottery tickets. We play it every week. The numbers I always pick are all birthday dates of my family including Dennis and mine. We also topped up our mobile phone's credit. After, we got into William S. the bookie to put a bet on a horse running in the Grand National Horses race, as it was this weekend and we fancied a flutter, I picked a horse called Black Beauty and Den picked a horse called Running Wild. We popped into the solicitor's office in order to pay the remaining part of his fees for arranging legal documents for the procedures of purchasing our house. While walking, we bumped into the vicar of the local church and we said hello. I saw a nice gold necklace at a jeweler shop, so Den decided to buy it for me as a present on our wedding anniversary. Back on the street, we saw a friend entering a pawning shop. He lost his job recently, and perhaps he went there to pawn some jewelry for much needed cash. We kept window shopping and in front of a charity shop, there were some nice clothes, used, but cheap and in good nick. Outside the charity shop we saw a Salvation Army volunteer collecting some donations, so we put some change in the slot of her round collection box. 
By lunchtime, we felt a little peckish. We have many nice restaurants in the high street that serve many delicious cuisines: Italian, Indian, Chinese. Turkish sushi bar and seafood, etc. But we fancied a pub lunch, so we went to the local pub, ordered some Irish stew with dumpling, a pint of bitter for Den, and a glass of house wine for myself. At the pub, we met and chatted with our new elderly neighbors there and gossiped about trivial matters like the recycling bins in the car park and the new traffic radar and security cameras in the street. As we were near the train station, Den popped in there to top up his oyster card, so I gave him mine to charge it as well. There was an antique sale in the local town hall, so we went in for a quick look. Lots of knickknacks and interesting items there. We booked the hall for my niece's birthday party next week. Then we walked into our local GP, General Practitioner Clinic, to make an appointment for a checkup. After that, we also went inside the dental clinic to make an appointment for Den. He had a toothache. Then we went into a DIY do-it-yourself store to buy some tools for some odd jobs that needed to be done in our new house, like hanging pictures and blinds and curtains, etc. Den decided to go to the barber for a haircut, and I went to a beauty saloon to pamper myself and get my nails pedicured and manicured. When we finished, we went to a sausage shop to buy some specially made sausages. There were some nice fresh fish at the fish munger, so we bought some cod, haddock, plaice, trout, and some mussels, cockles, and prawns. I remembered we needed some pet food and pet toys for our dog Lion, our cat Ginger, and our canary Tweety Pie. So we went into the pet shop and bought some. There were some lovely flowers at the flower shop. Den bought me a bunch of jasmines, roses, daffodils, daisies, bluebells, magnolias, water lilies, and sunflowers. I was thrilled by them. The smell of freshly baked bread was irresistible. So we entered a baker's shop to buy some French baguette, half a dozen donuts, Cornish pasty, sausage roll, a cheesecake, and a thinly sliced loaf of bread. Then we went to the butcher shop and bought sirloin steaks, a leg of lamb, a pound of diced beef, and a pound of minced meat. We also bought some vegetables from the green grocer, i.e., artichoke, asparagus, peas, carrots, cauliflower, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, spinach, tomatoes, potatoes, bell pepper, aubergine, crocettes, parsnips. And some fruits like apples, oranges, and bananas, strawberries, raspberry, blueberry, blackberries, nectarines, peaches, and cherries. Then went to the hypermarket to buy some toiletries and bits and pieces for the house. Then we decided to go home, but as the two of us had a bit to drink, I wasn't tiddly and he wasn't sozzled. In fact, we both felt like a stone cold sober, teetotal. But as it is against the law to drink and drive, and as both of us consumed alcohol, though it was in small quantity and within the limit, we decided to order a cab from the local cab office to take us home. When we arrived, Den helped me put the shopping bags in the kitchen and went back to the cab to pick up the children from school. Although I was completely zonked and Den was knackered. We did a lot of important tasks that had to be done, and enjoyed discovering the high street.